Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. In this video, I'll show you how to load multiple Excel files which has the same table names or the structure and also having the same sheet name. Before we get started, let's understand by loading one Excel file and understand the load script. So let me jump to click view. And uh, let's go to script editor by pressing control E. And if you see here, I have some sample script. So let me just reformat the script. Let me get rid of this pop-up. Okay, and uh, let's understand the script first before we see how to load multiple Excel files which has the same sheet name. So the load statement, in click view you can use the load statement and the select statement or the select statement. Select statement is generally used when you use an ODBC connection or OLEDP connection and when you fetch the data from SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL or any kind of database. And the load statement is very specific to ClickView. So if you wanted to load the data into ClickView's RAM or your server's RAM, then you would use the load statement. So in this case, we are loading an Excel file. That's why we are using the load statement instead of a select statement. And the next three lines has the field names. And if you see the difference between line number 15 and line number 14 and 13 is the square brackets. Square brackets are not necessary when you have your field name as one word instead of two words separated by a space. In this case, if you see, I have product space name and then source space file name. So we need to use the square brackets whenever you have two words separated by a space. You can also use the double quotations like this. This would also work. But I prefer using the square brackets. It just looks nice and it's simple. And uh, the next keyword is the from clause. The from clause just specifies where you wanted to fetch the data from. So in this case, we wanted to get the data from an Excel file. So the next line has the Excel path. In this example, I've hard coded the Excel path, but in your case, you might want it to have a variable which will reference the Excel file. I'll show you how to pass the variables instead of a path in different video. But however, let's focus on understanding the script and how to load multiple files which has the same table names. So if you see, this is just a path, nothing special about it. Again, I've used the square brackets. You can get rid of them if you wanted, but I would prefer keeping them. And the next line is very important and this specifies the format and how you wanted to load the data. So if you see here, we will, you, you see the keyword OOXML and OOXML stands for Office Open XML or Open XML. And Microsoft introduced this XML based format for Office documents. And uh, this is not specific for Excel. This also applies to Word, PowerPoint, charts and diagrams, whatever you use in Microsoft Office. In the old versions, we have saved the data in binary format and we still can use the old version while using the new version. And this is the reason why we have an extra X after the XLS extension. So in this case, it's because it's the XLX X file. That's why we are calling the OOXML. And you can also type it if you wanted, you would get that. And the next keyword is embedded labels. So we are saying that we wanted to embed the labels and the labels are picked up from the first row. And the next parameter is the table ease. And the table ease is the actual sheet name. So in this case, my sheet name is raw data dollar and that's why it picked up the sheet name and that's the table name. If you don't give a name for this table name, then ClickView will pick up this particular name. So in this case, I would just say products. And then just reload this. Oops, there is a syntax error. So I reckon we don't have this dollar here. So I'll remove that and then just save it. And uh, let's just reload it now. 
yes we got 12 rows in here and then let's just add a table box there we go so we've got the table box and now the three files with a suffix of one two three after product count products and so in this case so you can just go ahead and remove number one and just put a star so we're using a wildcard search here to find the files which has the relevant names and then now let's go ahead and reload this if you see here we've loaded 12 rows and then next one has 12 again and the third one has 12 so we've loaded like 36 rows now so if you see here we have 36 rows here so let's go back to script so this is a simple technique you can use the asterisk here to extract all the files which has relevant names I hope you will find this video useful and also I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day where I ask ClickView questions and you can answer them to assess your ClickView knowledge. You would see the instant results and you can also compare the results with other developers and designers. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.